you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, man, you know it ain't working without you guys. Um, <laughs> interesting thing. I posted a video this morning saying that from a business standpoint, what the Dallas Cowboys have done with Dak Prescott is great for business. Um, and people took that as, I'm saying I was wrong. No, I, I think the Cowboys should have paid Dak Prescott. I think the Dallas Cowboys need to get Dak Prescott's deal done. But from a pure business standpoint, what they did was, well, they saved themselves some money that they can use for other players. And that's where I said, you know, it does make sense from that standpoint. It basically screws your quarterback and makes him have to wait. But in a business sense, that works. And I'll give you an example because here's a great example right here. DuPont Chemicals, um, who are being sued for groundwater and uh, water contamination um, in, I believe, New Jersey. To protect the company, what they've done is they've broken up the company into um, different entities. The most profitable stuff they put in like one stuff, and then they put other companies that are liable for the cleanup as the other ones. Well, they didn't exactly leave much money in those companies. So when they get sued, the companies will just go out of business, but the profitable stuff is protected. Now, that's a smart move as far as business goes. It's going to make sure that they don't actually pay out. Is it the right thing to do? No, because people are sick and dying because of the chemical poisoning that's been done to the environment. So from a business standpoint, yeah, they protected the investors. From a morality standpoint, it sucks. And that's how you look at it if you're Dak Prescott, because you think about this. Kirk Cousins, in his career already, before he even gets paid for this year, has made $100 million. $100 million. I ain't mad at him. I, I applaud him for being able to get that kind of money. He'll get another $28 million this year. And guess what? He'll be able to go ahead and uh, either get the Vikings to pay him another boatload of money that I'm sure is going to be well over $35 million a year, or take that to another team and get a boatload of money. That's just the way it works with quarterbacks. And as we see this great quarterback shuffle that's about to take place, well, a lot of people are going to be getting over $30 million a year. It's the nature of the business. So on the contract front, we're actually getting some good news. Um, allegedly, the talks about Amari Cooper and the Dallas Cowboys are actually going pretty well, and they seem to think that they're going to be able to get an agreement, possibly by the time free agency starts, which is next Thursday. Excuse me, the tagging period start, which is next Thursday, and having to get a deal done before the 16th, because that's when people can start negotiating with free agents. So we've got two weeks from tomorrow. Or no, 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 shoots. I'm sorry. Two weeks from today's the second. Oh, we got two weeks um, from today when legal tampering starts. So that's good news on that front. On the Dak Prescott front, well, it sounds like Dak is looking for a more, a, a deal that's going to be shorter in term. So that way he can go for another contract, much like Kirk Cousins has by the time he's 29. Um, if you're Dak Prescott, seeing how the money has evolved, think about this. This year, last year at this time, Aaron Rodgers was the highest paid at 32. Um, and of course, you had Matty Ice, who was at 30, and Kirk Cousins at third at 28. Right now, a year later, you have, of course, Russell Wilson at 35, Big Ben at 34, um, Golf and Wentz both at 33 and a half, you know, Aaron Rodgers, Matty Ice. So you've got the whole landscape has changed in one year. And I dare say, actually, since the last two years, it's gone from 28 to 35. So if you're looking at that with the natural progression of what it's been going, 
You're saying that in three years, you're looking at more like 42 to $45 million a year contracts. So it behooves you to keep your contract short and bet on yourself again. If you're the Dallas Cowboys, you want to see if you can get like a six-year deal so it can be much like Tyron Smith's right now where Tyron Smith is getting $13 million a year where, you know, Tunsil is looking at $20 million. So that's all I got to say about that. And that's where we're sitting with the contract situations. Whew. We'll definitely have more to talk about tonight on this stuff, but um, it behooves the Cowboys to get these contracts done sooner than later so that way they know what they're going to have as far as free agency goes. You know, you focus in on the players that you want to keep, and apparently Robert Quinn is one of them. Of course, uh, I say Dak Prescott. I know a lot of you will say no to Dak. Um, Randall Cobb are important, and then also being able to know how much money you have if you're saying there's a guy or two we want to target in free agency that will end up helping us. Um, on the defense, and clearly, <laughs> clearly the defense has been part of the problem as well. I'm not going to say everything is on the defense, but um, Bob Sturm, I don't have the numbers right in front of me, but it's funny, between Buffalo, the Jets, and the Bears, the defense gave up 8.8 .8 yards, oh, I'm sorry, 8.9 yards per completion, a 119 QBR, and 75% completions to those teams. The Bears, the Jets, and Buffalo. That's not real good. And so that's where we need to make some changes on the defense. All right, I hope you guys join in tonight for our live stream. We'll be there at 9 o'clock Eastern. Yeah, I'm going to be here working. Unless I fall out. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, they keep telling me, don't quit your day job. Whew. Got a lot of work to do in here. Let's say hi to Michael Anthony Fitness and see how he's done with these doors. Whew. Got the blue in here. We got to paint the fireplace. We got to put down this laminate flooring. It's going to go down here on this level. And Michael's in here. Hard at work. Painting all the doors. How you doing, Mike? Doing good. Huh? I know. You ain't got no time for talking. Only working, right? No, I like to get to work as I go home and do more work. All right. So what he's trying to say is, if you want something, go out there and get it. Because ain't nobody giving you. He wants a house. He wants a couple of them. Okay. All right. And so in other words, saying, Dad, get your ass in gear. I'll see you guys tonight.